So let's go ahead and give a demo and see how Direct Publisher works and actually build a channel using Direct Publisher. So I'll go to the Roku developer site. And so anyone can sign up for a developer account and, uh, and publish their own channel on Roku. Um, so I'll go ahead and create a channel using, uh, and I'll choose the direct publisher option here. And I'll call this um, demo for Streaming Media West 2016. Uh, and now I provide some basic information about the channel I want to create. So what are the, the channel stores that I want to publish that in? And so you can publish in any of our uh, retail channel stores, as well as you can publish in different languages. Um, and then um, you need to specify whether your app is directed at children or not, and a few other things. Uh, you can also specify a vanity code if you want. So if I want to have a simple to remember code that I can give out to, to folks to install my channel, so I can say like Streaming Media West 2016, if no one has used that one yet, and then I can give out that code, and, uh, and anyone you know, on my website or elsewhere, and people can go ahead and install that channel on Roku. Uh, so I now need to provide a feed. So this is kind of the, the most critical step for direct publisher. Uh, and a feed is either, is essentially a, contains uh, a list of all of your, your, essentially your content catalog. So this can be uh, an MRSS feed, if you're familiar with that, uh, which is a, you know, a widely used uh, standard. And then we have our own feed format, um, which provides a much richer set of, of things that you can do. So I'll provide my feed URL, uh, which in this case is an MRSS feed, and then I'll specify the content type. And so after doing that, I now need to brand my channel. So provide my you know, my logo, my colors, uh, that kind of thing. And so I'll go ahead and do that. And so we'll use kind of <clears throat> an example channel here. So I'll provide my logo and a splash screen for when the application starts. Uh, and then as I mentioned, by using Direct Publish, you automatically get into Roku's universal search. So I will provide a link to the play button. So this is the, when someone searches for something and wants to play their content on your channel, this is the thing that they will press within the Roku UI. Uh, and then I can either provide a background color or a background image. So in this case, I'll use a background image. Uh, and I could choose to have a, you know, kind of a cool color overlay, or I can also choose to just use that image uh, as is. I can control my text color, the highlight color, and so maybe I'd probably pick kind of the exact hex value for my brand, but I'll be a little lazy here and pick one of the default ones. Uh, and then the progress color, which is the color for the progress bar. And so now I've picked all that and I can preview what my channel will look like. Um, so this is essentially what the uh, branding for the channel will look like. And this is one of our content partners that have la has launched on Direct Publisher. So you can see the, the branding, the text, the highlight color, uh, et cetera. And I can also see what my splash screen will look like. So that all looks great. So I'll continue and it'll upload all of those assets to us, which will take a moment. And so one thing you noticed uh, when I showed the preview is that it had the branding, but it didn't show any content. So the next thing we'll do once uh, those assets get uploaded is I need to specify the categories for my content. So by default, we have a few categories that we will automatically generate for you if you want them. So things like continue watching. So if you've started watching a series, you're able to continue or a movie, um, as well as things like most popular or the most co popular content on your channel based on its uh, usage on Roku, as well as the most recently added content. So I could just check those categories and they would show up. 
I can, of course, also add my own categories. Uh, so I'll add a couple of categories to my channel. And so this is a, mu a music app. So we have some interviews with musicians. Uh, and then I'll select, um, so that's the title of the category. I now need to say what is the content that maps to that category. So in the feed, I had specified tags for each piece of content. So typically, the way it works is that um, if you already have a content management system where you've uploaded your content, you've probably already tagged it. And so we're leveraging those, ideally, those same tags that already exist with your content um, that you just can leverage here as well. So I'll go ahead and I happen to have a tag called interviews for any content with interviews. And then I can use any selected tag, or I could also have an and of tags if I wanted to have, require that multiple tags be present. Uh, and then I can specify the sort order for that category. So things like you know, most recent first, I could also say I want it sorted by popularity, uh, or I could have it in chronological order. So if I want episode one, then episode two, then episode three, I could do it that way as well. And then finally, for some content, the thumbnail may or may not be very descriptive. Uh, so I can choose whether to overlay the title on that thumbnail or not. So in this case, I won't, so I'll save that. Uh, and then I'll add another category, and we'll call this concerts. And I'll select uh, the tag for concerts. And again, I have the, the same options I can specify. And I would go ahead and create all the other categories for my channel as well. And so now I can preview that and see how it looks. So now I've got, it's actually found all the content that maps to interviews and concerts and uh, shows you what that would look like. And so now I have basically, I think, a great looking channel. Um, so now I'm mostly done. So I will continue. Um, and then I provide a little bit more information uh, for our channel store. So kind of the description that I want to show up in the, the channel store, what we call the app store. Uh, I can provide a channel poster. Uh, select the category. So in this case, it is music. And I could provide a description. I'll skip that for now. And so, so essentially, I've gone ahead. I've created a channel. So the branding is there. The content is there. And really, the only thing um, other than filling in a little bit of uh, additional information is choosing how to monetize my content. 